Hey guys, this tutorial will show you how to create a weather app in Excel by using Python. After inputting the city name, you just need to click the button and the weather report will be updated. And this is how it works. The Excel button will trigger a Python script. Inside the Python script, we will read the city name from Excel. Once we have the city name, the Python script will fetch the weather forecast by using an API and return the result back to Excel. And without further ado, let us get started. I assume that you have already Python installed on your machine. If not, feel free to check out my quick start guide on how to install Python. I will link the video to the info card above. First things first, we will be installing the libraries which we are going to use throughout the tutorial. Open up your command prompt or terminal and type pip install request and pip install excelwings. Once done, go ahead and type excelwings quick start followed by your project name. I will call mine a weather app and add the argument standalone. By executing this line, Excelwings will create a new folder in the directory from where you ran this command. In my case, Excelwings will create the folder on my desktop. In the folder, you will find an Excel and a Python file. Open up the Excel file and navigate to the developer tab. If the developer tab is not visible for you, you can enable it under File, Options, Customize ribbon and then tick the box next to developer. Once done, open up the Visual Basic Editor. You will see that the quick start command added a macro called sample call. The code looks a bit complex, but all it does is to run the main function from the Python file, which you can find in the same working directory. You could also rewrite it like this, depending on your project name. We could now go ahead and check if everything is working so far by adding a button to our worksheet, which I will assign to the sample call we just have seen. If you click this button, you should see Hello Wings in cell A1. And if you click it again, it says Buy Excel Wings. Alright, so this is a straightforward way on how to execute a Python script from Excel. Before jumping into the Python code, let me prepare the workbook. For this tutorial, I would like to return the description of the weather as well as the minimum and maximum temperature for the city and cell C3. To explain how we could get this data, I have prepared the following Jupyter Notebook. Once we understand how it works, we will copy and paste the code from this Jupyter Notebook to the Python script. As a first step, let me import the libraries we just have installed. Additionally, we will also need JSON and Pathlib, which are standard Python libraries. Hence, no installation is required for those libraries. Afterwards, I will build a connection to our workbook by using Excel Wings. In my case, the workbook is called weatherapp.xlsm and we want to manipulate the first worksheet. Next, I will get the city name, which we have inserted in cell C3. As a side note, instead of using the cell range, you could also use named ranges. Let me show you what I mean by this by going back to the Excel file. You could provide a name for cell C3 up here. For instance, I will call it city name. It has the advantage that the code would be more flexible in case you move the cell around. Having said that, let me switch back to the Jupyter Notebook. Instead of the cell range, I will now insert city name. And after executing this cell, we will see it has returned London. Now that we know how to read the values from Excel, let us use the city name to retrieve the weather forecast. For this, we will be using the Meta Weather API. API stands for Application Programming Interface and without going into details it means an interface or method or way for two pieces of software to communicate. Feel free to check out the MetaWeva API documentation to see what kind of information you could retrieve and how it works. Essentially we will need two steps. As the first step we will be converting our city name to the corresponding MetaWeva city ID. With this city ID, we can then go ahead and get the weather forecast. To get this city ID, we will be sending a GET request to the MetaWeather API. You can find the URL in the official documentation. I will be using a Python F string to insert our city name to this URL. Next, I will store the response from the GET request in a variable called ResponseCity. After executing this line, we could check the status code of our GET request. 200 means that everything was successful. We could now go ahead and print out the content we just have fetched. The output, which you can see here, is in a JSON format. To convert it to a Python dictionary, we will use the JSON library we have imported in the beginning. 
Having the data now in a Python dictionary allows us to get the content quickly by providing the dictionary key. And we can see that London has the following ID. With this ID, we can proceed to the next step to retrieve the weather report. The approach will be very similar to what we have seen so far. This time, we will be inserting the city ID into our API GET request. After checking the status code, I will print out the content. You will notice that we have a Python list with dictionaries within the consolidated weather key, including the weather forecast for the next days. So let me store this forecast in a variable called weather data. Each item of the list represents the data for one day. I will go ahead and print out the data for the first item. Some of the information might be very straightforward, such as the minimum temperature in Celsius. Yet in our final application, we also want to display the corresponding weather icon for each day. LR, for instance, stands for light rain. You could download the light rain icon using the following website and replacing the X with LR. In fact, I have downloaded all available icons already. You will find those in the images folder. I have named the files according to their abbreviation. Now that we know how to get the weather forecast, I will store the information for each day in a list. To do so, first I will be creating an empty list. In this example, I'm only interested in the minimum and maximum temperature, the short weather description and the corresponding icon name for the applicable date. As a next step, I will iterate over each day in the weather data and append it to our list. After running the cell, we could print out the different list to validate if this is working. We could now go ahead and return the forecast to Excel. Starting from cell C5, Excel Ring should now insert the list of applicable dates. By the way, I'm also returning the city title to Excel in cell D3. I just want to make sure that the displayed forecast is for the same city I have inputted in cell C3. Ok, we are almost done. As a last step, let us see how to return the forecast icons to Excel. First, I will be creating a list of the following names. In total, the API returns a forecast for 6 days. For each day, we want to display an icon. My approach is now to insert one of the icons as a placeholder for each day. I will then rename the picture name in Excel according to the names in our Python list. So the first picture name will be one day and the next one will be two day and so on. Back in my Jupyter Notebook, I could now iterate over my list of icon names and the weather state abbreviation list by using the zip function in Python. In the first line, I'm returning the image path to the corresponding abbreviation. For instance, the first element of this list is LR. As I named the images according to their abbreviation, I could create the file path as follows. As I now have the correct image path, I could update the first icon, so one day, by using the following Excel Wings method and setting the option update to true. If we run the cell, Excel Ring should replace each picture in our Excel workbook with the correct image. Alright, this was working. We could now go ahead and test our application. Instead of London, I would like to retrieve the data for Tokyo. Back in my Jupyter Notebook, I will restart my kernel and rerun all cells. As a result, we should now see our updated forecast for Tokyo. Yet, we would like to click this button in our final application rather than constantly rerunning our Jupyter Notebook. For this, let me change a Python script. All I'm going to do here now is to copy and paste the code from the Jupyter Notebook to this file. Go ahead and delete the following. First things first, I will import the libraries. Within the main function, we will then get the city from Excel. Once we have the city name, we can send the get request and return the corresponding city ID. Having the city ID allows us to get the weather forecast. As seen before, we will create empty list, iterate over the weather data and append each day's values to our list. As a next step, we will be returning the values to Excel. 
Finally, we will also update the icons in our Excel worksheet. I have placed the images in the same directory as our final script. So the icon path will be the current working directory of this file and in a folder called images. Alright, and I just noticed that I have a minor bug here. In the quick start template, the variable it's called sheet. But in my Jupyter notebook, I have shortened it to SHT. So let me fix this shortly. Okay, and here's our final weather app in Excel by using Python. You could now go ahead and also apply some styling to your worksheet. Okay guys, that's it for this tutorial. As always, if you have any questions or need further support, just let me know in the comment sections down below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.